A reminder, before and while celebrating the Holy Mass, we have to turn off our cell phone or on the silent mode. Avoid talking with each other, but instead, let, let us participate in responding and singing during the celebration. Thank you. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters, and welcome to our graduation Mass. In today's Mass, we celebrate our success as graduates of Divine Word College of Calapan. Over the past years, we all have faced many challenges, especially the complications brought about by the global pandemic. But we have learned and worked together to overcome them. Today, we celebrate our achievements and together, we present our hopes, plans for the future, and joys to the Lord. We thank God for all the blessings we have received, especially the love, care, and sacrifices of our parents, guardians, teachers, and school administrators, and ask Him to grant us the courage to continue our mission of being witnesses to the world. With today's graduation 
team DWCC graduates committed to resiliency, faith, and excellence as SBD co-missionaries. May we live and work to realize this mission wherever we will be. With our main celebrant, Most Reverend Pablito M. Tagura, SBD, together with DWCC SBD Priest Administrators, please all stand and join the choir in the singing of the opening hymn. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Umaga rin po. Today, we are going to offer this holy sacrifice of the Mass to thank God for all our many blessings, especially our dear graduates, for the many years that they have studied here. And today, mark the end of their hard work and sacrifices not only for our students but also our professors teachers faculty and staff 
and the administration. And so, join me, all of us together, we offer this Holy Mass to thank God for our many blessings, especially today. And of course, our dear parents also, who have supported, guided, and loved these graduates. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us again call to mind our failures and ask the Lord for mercy and pardon. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to life everlasting. Amen.
Let us pray. God and Father of all gifts, we praise you, the source of all that we have achieved. Teach us to acknowledge always the many good things your infinite love has given us in this graduation day. Help us to love you with all our heart and all our strength. We ask you this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. You are the people of God. He loved you and chose you for his own. So then, you must clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Be tolerant with one another and forgive one another whenever any of you has a complaint against someone else. You must forgive one another just as the Lord has forgiven you. And to all these qualities, add love, which binds all things together in perfect unity. The peace that Christ gives is to guide you in the decisions you make. For it is to this peace that God has called you together in the one body. And be thankful. Christ's message in all its richness must live in your hearts. Teach and instruct one another with all wisdom. Sing songs, hymns, and sacred songs. Sing to God with thanksgiving in your hearts. Everything you do or say, then, should be done in the name of the Lord Jesus. As you give thanks to Him, to God the Father. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I 
finds a home for her brood and the swaddling a nest for herself where she may live young in your arms stars my king and my God a day refreshed by springs and by rain when dryness dawns and stays. Behold my field, my king, and my to taste anywhere if I could spend one day in your courts belong to you alone my strengths are you alone my glory my king and my God rise to give honor to the Holy Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. You are like salt for the whole human race. But if salt loses its saltiness, there is no way to make it salty again. It has become worthless 
So it is thrown out and people trample on it. You are like light for the whole world. A city built on a hill cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and puts it under a bowl. Instead, it is put on the lampstand where it gives light for everyone in the house. In the same way, your light must, must shine for, before people so that they will see the good things you do and praise your heavenly Father. The Gospel of our salvation. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. Please all be seated for the homily. Reverend uh, Father Chris Cordero, the president of uh, this institution, dear concelebrating priests and brother, the graduates, the faculty and staff, and uh, all the parents, visitors, and friends who are here. Magandang umaga uli sa inyong lahat. Ang uh, ating pong napakinggan ebanghelyo ay napakaganda sapagkat gumamit ang ating Panginoon Kristo ang dalawang pangkaraniwang bagay upang uh, may pahiwatig niya at may, pabut, may paabot niya sa kanya mga tagapakinig na nagahangad sumunod sa kanya kung ano ang kinakailangan upang sila ay tunay na maging alagad at naniniwala o sumasampalataya sa Kanya. Ang sabi niya, Kayo'y mga asin at kayo'y mga ilaw. You are the light of the world and the salt of the earth. Alam nyo, kami pong mga taga-Occidental Mindoro ay... Uh, Lalo naming uh, na-appreciate itong uh, ilaw sapagkat for many months ay laging uh, brown out sa San Jose. No? Apat na oras lang ang rasyon ng uh, kuryente. Kaya laging uh, madilim, laging uh, mainit. At doon po sa San Jose, ay maraming mga ordinaryong tao na ang kanilang hanap buhay ay gagawa ng asin. It is a source of uh, livelihood. At uh, alam nyo po, noong sinauna, ang asin ay napaka-importante sapagkat ginagawa nila o ginagamit nilang asin na pangsahod kaya yung salitang uh, Latin, sal, salary, salarium, no? Your salary, your take-home pay every 15 or 30 days. Yung uh, mga tamad, yung mga sumasahod na hindi naman nagkatrabaho o hindi nagsasakripisyo ay tinatawag na you are not worth your salt. Hmm? You are not worth your salt. Pwede rin natin sabihin sa mga graduates na after four years, kapag uh, hindi ka nagsunog uh, ng kilay, hindi ka nagsakripisyo, hindi ka nag-aral, you just uh, got by by uh, maybe cheating. You are not worth your diploma. Hmm? You are not worth your tuga that you are wearing right now. So, ang gustong watig 
ng ating Panginoon Kristo ay dapat tayong magsakripisyo, magtrabaho. Uh, We give our best in everything that you do so that whatever rewards and benefits that you receive, you are worth it sapagkat pinaghirapan mo, pinagtrabahuan mo, you deserve it. Salary. Salarium. Yung ilaw, ganun din po sa konteksto ng ating Panginoon Su Kristo, karamihan po ng mga bahay nung, nung kapanahonan niya ay isang silid lamang. At nung kapanahonan niya, wala namang mga lighters at mga kasapwego, matches. Kaya pag nagsiga uh, sila sa umaga uh, at uh, they light the, 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 the lamp, the oil lamp, hindi na po nila pinapatay yun. No? Itinatago lamang sa baba at uh, tinatakpan ng basket upang sa gabi tanggalin yung uh, cover, ilagay na naman sa mataas na bahagi ng uh, bahay. So, yun ang ginawa ng ating Panginoon Kristo. Ginamit niya yung ilaw upang may pahiwatig kung ano ang kinakailangan upang ang isang alagad ay makatutuhanan. You are the light of the world. At sabi niya, let your good deeds shine so that if people see your good deeds, they will praise your heavenly Father. Napakaganda po ang iyong uh, tema. DWC graduates committed to faith, resiliency, and excellence as SVD co-missionaries. Excellence. Professional competence, committed faith, resiliency, ibig sabihin human maturity. So, DWCC does not only train your mind intellectually, but much, much more. This institution teaches you the main objective. The one of the main objectives of this institution is to train your heart to become committed Christians, to be fully human. Kaya, yung uh, ilaw ay para sa iba. Alam nyo, kapag uh, masyadong maliwanag yung ilaw, hindi mo nababasa ang uh, gusto mong basahin. At kung ito'y naman madilim na madilim, hindi mo rin kayang basahin yung libro o anong nakasulat, dapat katamtaman lang, moderate, sapagkat kung masyadong maliwanag o masyadong madilim, ay yung ilaw ang pinapansin mo. Ganon din po yung asin. Kapag masyadong maalat ang uh, nilagay sa pagkain, hindi mo na malalasahan yung uh, flavor ng pagkain. O ito naman ay subkulang, matamlay. Ang pinapansin mo ay hindi yung pagkain, kundi yung asin. Magkukomplain ka, ito wala namang asin, wala namang baguong. No? Hindi maganda. So, the light and the salt, they do not call attention to themselves. They become effective. They can perform their functions if they do it for others. Anong gustong ipinapahiwatig ng ating Pahinsu Kristo? that uh, do not call attention to yourselves when uh, you do service, that you are not the center of the universe. Doing good works does not mean you should uh, be proud of it, taking credit, credit, and that you not, do not live only for yourselves, but for others, just like the salt, and the light. Living for others is a rule of nature. Rivers do not drink their own water. Trees do not eat their own fruits. Sun, the sun does not shine on itself. Flowers do not spread their fragrance for themselves. And so, my dear graduates, that is your calling not to be self-absorbed, not to be self-engrossed, 
that you are only focused on your own little world and you are only focused for hours and hours glued to your cellular phone. There is a bigger world out there. How do you measure success? Na ikaw ay nagtagumpay. Siyempre, kayo ay nagtagumpay sapagkat natapos nyo yung four-year o five-year course nyo. But is that the measure of success? Of course, you know Steve Jobs, the co-founder of Apple. Lahat ng gating niya ginagamit na iPhone, sila ang gumawa. You can just imagine how much money they were making or he was making. But he was dead at 56. 56. Limpak-limpak ang kanyang salapi na nalikom. Pero dead at 56. And he said, while he was languishing on his hospital bed, dealing with terminal cancer. I have reached the pinnacle of success in business. Other, in other people's eyes, my life is a success. However, aside from work, I have had little joy. At the end of the day, wealth is just a fact I've gotten used to. I realize that all the recognition and wealth I took so much pride in has faded and become meaningless in the face of imminent death. You can hire someone to drive your car or make money for you, but you can't hire someone to stand sick and die for you. Material things lost can be found again, but there is one thing that can never be found when it is lost, your life. Whatever stage of life we are currently at, in time, we will face the day the curtain closes. Love your family, spouse, children, and friends. Treat them right. Cherish them. You will realize that your true inner happiness does not come from material things of this world. Therefore, I hope you realize when you have friends, brothers, and sisters with whom you discuss, laugh, talk, sing, and talk about north, south, east, or heaven and earth, this is the real happiness. Educate your children not to be rich. Educate them to be happy, to love sincerely, completely, and totally. Kaya, ang sinasabi ng ating Panunso Kristo, sabi niya, seek first the kingdom of heaven and everything else will be given besides. Generally, on average, yung mga nagiging successful na graduates ay yung mga marunong makisama, marunong makisalamuha, no? marunong makipagkaibigan. Yun po ang mga umaasenso sa buhay. Hindi lang yung matalino, hindi lang yung top nature. But when you go into the real world, the measure of success it not, is not only your intellectual prowess, but you know how to relate with other people. And more often than not, yung marunong makikapagkapwa-tao, yung merong magandang relasyon sa iba, be it in the office or the school setting, sila po yung umaasenso. Sila po ang napropromote. Ano pong ibig sabihin ng ating Panginoon Su Kristo nung sinabi niya, you are the light of the world, you are the salt of the earth. Ito po yung mga magandang bagay na ginagawa natin. Na sa magitan ng ating magandang pakikisalamuha, sa magandang pakikitungo sa kapwa, people are reminded of God's goodness. Ay, salamat sa Diyos, meron pa rin mabait na tao. Paano tayo magmahal? Just like Jesus loves us. Kailangan natin ng Diyos sa ating buhay. Kaya nga this is a Catholic institution. God first. Unahin mo 
ang kaharian ng Diyos, ang kagustuhan o kalooban ng Diyos. If you take fish out of water, it will die. And when you take a tree from the ground, it also will die. Similarly, when humans disconnect from God, they die. God is our natural environment. We were created to live in His presence. We must be connected with Him because only with Him could we survive. Yes, it is only in God that we have life. Let us stay in touch with God. Water without fish is still water, but fish without water is nothing. Soil without tree is still soil, but tree without soil is nothing. God without man is still God, but man, human being like you and me, without God, you are nothing. So, kaya kailangan natin ang Diyos sa ating buhay. And this is what this Catholic institution stresses so much. Bakit kailangan natin ang Diyos sa ating buhay? Sapagkat dapat nating madama, dapat nating makita, maranasan sa ating buhay na tayo'y pinapahalagahan ng Diyos. Sapagkat kung hindi natin na nararamdaman o hindi tayo kumbinsido na mahal tayo ng Diyos, na bawat nila lang, bawat isa dito ay mahalaga, mahalaga sa Kanya, hindi na rin natin pwedeng mahalin ang ating mga kapwa. You will never give that which you haven't experienced. You cannot give that which you haven't experienced or you don't have in your life. Kaya sabi ni Mother Teresa, ito ay napaka-importante, na dapat kumbinsido tayo na mahal tayo ng Diyos, na pinapahalagahan tayo ng Diyos, tayo'y buhay pa, tayo'y, kayo'y mag-graduate na, meron kayong hanap buhay, eh, you are relatively healthy. Yun yung mga konkretong pamamaraan upang maranasan natin ang pagmamahal ng may kapal. Sabi ni Mother Teresa, First, we must be loved by God and only then can we give to others. For us to want to give love to others, we must be full of love. To, uh, we must be full of love to give. God acts in this way. It is He who moves us all to do what we are doing. If we feel His love for us, then this love emanates from us. Kaya nga sa unang pagbasa, anong sinabi ni San Pablo? Put on compassionate hearts. Mapagmahal na puso. Kindness, humility, meekness, patience, bearing with one another, forgiving each other. But above all this, sabi ni St. Paul, put on love. Love is the capstone which binds everything together in perfect harmony. In perfect harmony. And so, my dear students, your education, your education does not end after you leave the compound of DWCC. Your education continues because as the saying goes, do not study for school, but you study for life. There is a bigger classroom out there that is what we call life. And so, there are many things that you do not learn in the classroom. You must get used or you must accept that sometimes life is not fair. Therefore, you must cultivate the strength, the perseverance, and adaptability not to be easily discouraged. That's why you see there Resiliency. Resiliency. You do not learn from your success. You learn more from the pains and the failures. And every life has its own share of failures and pains. But when you fall down, you have the courage to get up again 
That's what you call resiliency. The world cares and values your actions, not just your self-esteem, not just showing that you are a graduate of DWCC. They will ask you, what can you do for us? Yes, what can you contribute? Focus on making a positive impact through your skills and contributions. Sabi nila, there are three kinds of people. Those who wait for things to happen and those who watch for things to happen. But the third one is the one who make things happen. What can you do? What can you contribute? Even in your application, they will always ask that. Your diploma is not a guarantee that you will be employed. Dear graduates, I'm warning you that when you are employed, you will not make a six-figure salary after school. Merong mga graduates na pag nag-apply, gusto nila kaagad ay managerial position. Don't expect a high salary right after school. Building a successful career takes time, effort, and the continuous learning. And no work is beneath your dignity. Every opportunity teaches valuable lessons and the importance of hard work and sacrifice. Take responsibility for your mistakes. Blaming others hinders personal growth and learning. And lastly, you do not stop learning. Learn from those who know best. As Plato said, you catch cold from the one who has it already. Learn to value humility. Learning from others, especially those who have expertise. Yes, that's how you increase your wisdom. Be open to learning from them to gain insights and make better decisions. Now, my dear graduates, I ask you, I will ask you, what makes you different from your seatmate? There will be thousands and thousands out there who will be dis receiving the same diploma. So, if you cannot say that I am different, unique because of my diploma. There will be thousands and thousands out there who will be receiving you the same diplomas as you do. But what makes you different, unique in this whole wide world? Ano ang pagkakaiba mo sa lahat ng nilalang sa balat ng lupa? You are the only one who has a sole custody of your life. No one else will live your life. You are responsible for your life. No one can die for you. As Steve Jobs says, no one can substitute you on a hospital bed. I'm not only talking here of life in the classroom or life before the computer or life surrounded by your books or life as you are glued to your cellular phones hours and hours. I'm talking here of a more important life that is a life of connection, a life of relationship, a life of love. That is what Jesus is telling when he, tells, when he reminds us, you are the light of the world and the salt of the earth because of our relationships, instruments of His love. And let me end by saying, love is the need of every living being. When someone feels love and cared for, they feel worthy and add value to the world. Spread love everywhere you go. Let no one ever come to you without living happier You'll find happiness by giving it first to others. Get a life in which you are not alone. 
self-absorbed, self-engrossed. Find people you love and who love you in return. Get a life in which you are generous. Care so deeply about life's goodness and blessings that you want to spread it around like the light. Today or this moment is the only guarantee you get. Learn to be happy as counseled by my cousin who had a terminal illness. She said, think of life as a terminal illness because if you do, you will live it with joy and passion as it ought to be lived. Do good every moment. Think and thank God every moment. Life could be just a moment. Live it. Love it. Enjoy it. Let us live every moment with those we love and truly care for. That is the essence and the reason of the life that God has given us. Please rise. Dear friends, in this Eucharistic celebration, let us offer our prayers to God, our Almighty Father, through Jesus Christ, the Word incarnate. For every petition, we respond, Lord, graciously hear our prayers. Lord, graciously hear our prayers. For Pope Francis, bishops, priests, and religious, that the Holy Spirit may enlighten them to proclaim the gospel of the world of today with deep love and to our fellow men with full respect for the truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord graciously hear our prayers. For the graduates of this institution who will be chosen for public office, that they will carry out their mandate for the people with honesty and full trust and security and that they will continue to become witnesses to the word by doing magnanimous work as they remember the virtues of St. Arnold Johnson. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord graciously hear our prayers. prayers. For all parents, that they may seek every opportunity to send their children in Catholic institution to instill their heart and mind the legacy of Catholic faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear our prayers. For the teachers who are engaged in the important mission of forming the students, that they may live what they teach and teach what they live, and that they may discover new approaches which our times demand. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear our prayers. For all graduates and who gathered here, that Christ may inspire us to grow constantly as a human person, and that our goodness and our love make our words acceptable and believable. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear our prayers. For the young people who cannot afford to go to school, those who are very poor, the sick and the indigenous, those who live in small islands and far-flung places, that God may bless them with generous people who will sacrifice for their growth and development. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear our prayers. Pour out upon us, O Lord, the spirit of your love to make us one heart and may we see your word for the service of humanity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Thank you. 
the Lord have said to sacrifice in your hands and to all the chains and the glory of his name, who are good and the good of your king all the day. Lord, we offer you this sacrifice of praise for all you have given us, especially for the tradition of some church. We have obtained and have praised you this night. May we also receive you this afternoon. We know this is the day that you have given us.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis of Pope, Nestor, Apostolic Administrator, Bishop Pablito, who is present here, and all the bishops and the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph and most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <laughs> Jesus to us to call God, Abba, Father, and so we have the courage to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer its other design of peace. Peace. peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord not I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, roof but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please be seated. Thank you. 
Please rise. Let us pray. God our Father, in this spiritual food, you have given us, given back to us a sacrifice we offer in thanksgiving. The saving sacrament of Christ, your Son, by these gifts of strength and joy, sustain us in your service and bring us to your gift of eternal life, grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Send up uh, prayers for the graduates. Our holy triune God, we live up to you, our graduates, and we thank you for the completion of another academic year and for giving us the opportunity to follow you through our dear institution, DWCC. We are grateful for your guidance and love as we shared in this important work of our mission in education. Bless and guide our graduates as they reach this end and as they chart new beginnings. May what they have learned by being here with us allow them to become truly witnesses of the word to the world. Help them to use all the knowledge and skills that they have acquired in DWCC to make this world a better place to live, to serve others in true spirit of solidarity and kinship, to seek ways to help the poor, the marginalized, and those who are suffering, and to always seek the dialogue, dialogue with others. We know that some of them will experience pain and hardship, and we know that some of them already have, and we ask you to grant them solace, resiliency, and strength. Finally, Father, we thank you for giving us the opportunity to impart in them your mission, mold and build these young women and men while they are at DWCC. Although they are leaving Divine Word College of Kalapan, we know that they will always be with us in mind and spirit as part of their Arnoldo's family. We humbly ask you that the bonds that have been created within us remain firm despite any distance and separation. And may they never forget the virtues of Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Renadimets in accomplishing their mission in their respective fields of work. 
All this we ask you, O Lord, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In behalf of the Divinian graduates, we humbly accept the challenge of carrying the core values of DWCC and the mission of becoming one of the co-missionaries of Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Reyna Demitz. May the Holy Trying God help us all. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. We praise and thank you, God, our Lord, for these graduates whom you recommend to your care, knowing that you are always the faithful traveler and companion on our way. Shelter them from harm and all useless anxiety. May the future be a source of many enriching and transforming moments. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Let us go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God.
to their guidance here. 